Hi, this is Dave Stoddard. I'm Director of Research for TDWI, and we're here in Las Vegas at the TDWI World Conference and Executive Summit. And with me is Bruce Zwolinski, who is a Senior Data Architect at Cobalt, which is an ADP company. Uh, Bruce, it's great to have you here, and you presented at the Executive Summit and gave a great uh, presentation about Agile Data Warehousing. Thanks. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Can you tell us a little bit about why Agile Data Warehousing is important to what you're doing at your company? Uh, and, you know, what got you started in terms of just the, the business reasons and so forth? Agile Data Warehousing um, came about. We had a new round of executives come in um, that had worked in Agile mode at their um, company, and we got it to a chance to apply it to our company. Um, it's been really successful for us because we're getting to deliver more and more value out to the business. Uh, in 2011, we were able to have 70 releases out to production, so that keeps the customers happy. Uh, they know that new content is always going to be coming out to them. And we were talking a bit about how uh, it's, it's a software development methodology, really. Correct. And, you know, is it difficult to sort of translate that into what data warehousing development is like? Sure, and we did, um, we did meet some resistance. We've, mm -hmm. we've uh, traditional software development is, um, Java is all about, they know about this agile stuff. Um, data warehousing tends to like to plan mm -hmm. and uh, have very long timelines. Um, so trying to break that mold and get uh, more, you know, shorter timelines, um, you know, two-week cycles, that was, a, that was a big challenge. And I know one of the centerpieces of it is to have the, the agile teams, which are composed, I guess, of uh, you know, business folks and right. uh, data warehouse developers. Yeah, as our, uh, our executives say, you know, uh, so you put all the liars in the same room. <laughs> so you have a product owner, he represents the business, and mm -hmm. then you have your scrum team, and they're going to implement what the business wants. And those guys are always have access to each other. So mm -hmm. they're, you know, they've broken down all those um, departmental lines. So they, they're always talking with each other. That's mm -hmm. a, a, a big key to successful Agile. So iterative styles and, I guess, incremental delivery? Yeah, really. Um, you have this, uh, the product owner has this prioritized list of work to be done. Uh, the sprint team is going to take a chunk of that off, and they're going to commit to the product owner that, mm -hmm. yes, we are going to get this small amount of work done, mm -hmm. and we're going to deliver it back to you. And the product owner, next time they meet, you know, that's great. Um, now the priorities have changed, mm -hmm. and you only spent two weeks working on this. That's good. Now we're going to go work on this other thing. So it's a, mm -hmm. if they, Agile is about responding to change, and so the business, mm -hmm. you know, they only have to wait two weeks for that team to get done with that piece, and now they can go off and do something else. Mm -hmm. Well, we did at TDWI a research report about uh, agility and BI and data warehousing. And uh, it was interesting to see uh, where people are being successful. It seems like quality is one area. There, uh, there's been a lot of success for, for companies that have sustained their uh, agile data warehousing. We have seen, um, it didn't, uh, so as we started agile, uh, developers had to learn how to be testers. Mm -hmm. And that was something that was new to them. So we had an initial phase where uh, the tests weren't always so good. You know, we had dedicated QA staff that knew how to test a whole lot better, um, but now developers are learning how to become testers. Mm -hmm. And we recently um, implemented a, a migration project, moving our Oracle data warehouse to a Greenplum data warehouse. Um, we had hundreds of thousands of tests, or thousands, tens of thousands of tests, and we have uh, a successful launch where we had zero defects um, mm -hmm. and sustained for the previous or the next four months um, no customer impact um, mm -hmm. so all the, all the customer sees is a faster data warehouse wow that's fantastic well maybe just to close if you could leave us with um, you know a couple of tips for organizations that are considering getting into agile data warehousing so the key three roles in an agile data warehouse uh, is the first part is you have to have a, a product owner, mm -hmm. uh, and he's the guy that has the vision. Um, you want him to be able to say what he wants to be get done, but you don't want to have to say how to go do it. So the how is going to be left to the team. Hmm. Um, and then you have to. The next role is a scrum master, and so they're they're a, they're the guys that kind of motivate the team, and so. Um, they kind of a technical role, but a lot of motivation and coaching. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the big role is the um, the Scrum team itself, and they're mm -hmm. they're a group of uh, folks that are going to organize to get the work done. And so you're looking for a, um, a wide variety of skill sets there, not a traditional ETL developer that puts himself in a box, but one that wants to expand out and learn new things. Great. Well, it's exciting stuff. Thanks for taking the time to do the interview. Thank you for having me. Yeah.